Hey Virgo, welcome to your reading. I'm going to be shuffling out some oracle cards and clarifying with tarot. I just got this fancy new shiny gold deck and I really like it. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's going to be happening. <laughs> uh, I did just shuffle these, so I'm just going to boop and here we go. Okay, that's all the four cards I needed. Um, my fantasy. You're currently someone's fantasy. Okay, let me go. Oops, and ghosted. There we go. My dreams. Okay. <clears throat> I am getting someone is currently ghosted, or perhaps they have just stopped talking to you. You know, here's the thing. Okay. As far as ghosting goes, I feel like people, they kind of focus too much on, like, reply time and shit like that. Um, a lot of times people are just busy, okay? It doesn't necessarily mean that they're never going to talk to you again. And that's kind of what I don't like about society now. It's like, I feel like the, the moment you don't say something to someone, they're like, oh my God, they're never going to talk to me again. And it's only been like, I don't know, five hours a day, like even like two days, like who cares? Like I don't reply to my mom for like a week sometimes, but you know, granted she's my mom, so whatever, but like... And, it, and it, like when it gets to a week is when I start to go, hmm, am I ghosted right now or what's going on? But like usually, you know, also if you just follow up and ask the, like a lot of times, like if you send a message or something and they don't respond right away, they may have just like forgot or they have in their mind, they're going to talk to you at a certain day or I don't know how people think sometimes, but you know, usually if you follow up. And you might not want to be vulnerable, but sometimes it's worth it showing your vulnerability because then it makes that person want to be vulnerable with you. If you act all tough all the time, um, you know, Virgo, and I know that we love to act tough. I'm a Virgo rising, so I get it. You know, we like to be a grounded individual, right? Um, but sometimes being a little vulnerable is okay, okay? So let's clarify with tarot real quick. <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so the, this person could be a little attached to their ex right now. Um, which is making you feel... But they're needing to let them go. And they will be letting them go. And perhaps this ex is like very... Um, not really anyone they're into, but they are still in their energy. Does that make sense? Like, have you ever, like, um, broke up with someone, but their energy still, like, kind of haunts you? Yeah, they are in hermit mode right now. Okay, you could be dealing with, I mean, there you are, Virgo. <laughs> All right. Or maybe this is you, Virgo. Okay, what's my fantasy? What's my fantasy, please? Okay, let's try again. What's my fantasy? What's my fantasy? Okay. <laughs> like, I like how I didn't get one card and then I got like 50 cards at the same time. Okay. Yep. Okay. Let me just take this in real quick, guys. This is a lot. All right, you could be dealing with a Leo. There's another Virgo card with the King of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> You're my fantasy. I have pictures and videos saved of you and use them for inspiration. I want you. I think inspiration is inspiration, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, okay. This person is currently not sleeping, okay? They could have been a little distracted here with the Seven of Cups. And I'm getting that they are feeling guilty or you, you or someone is feeling upset. They could have, okay. I'm getting that this person, okay, I see why you ghosted them now. I'm getting this person went towards another individual 
because but this person was not like anything serious I'm getting almost that this person reminded them of you and that's why they went towards them I feel like it was one of those situations where they thought that maybe it's like almost like they were testing your connection in a way it's almost like they were like is this person really the one for me or is this person the one for me it's like they it's almost like they were confused for a moment like a doppelganger type of thing I'm not sure the person even did it on purpose. I feel like maybe they just saw you and this person and thought, oh, hey, wow, they look alike. Maybe they'll be alike or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, it's so annoying when that happens, right? It's annoying when that happens because you can easily just discover that by not sleeping with them, <laughs> by just talking to them for, you know, a week or more than a week or whatever and just actually getting to know them before putting you know um, bits inside of each other like I don't know whatever either way they were disappointed and they they feel guilty and they feel bad about it and they haven't been sleeping okay you could be feeling a little jealous right now you could be feeling a little upset which is why you ghosted them mm-hmm they are testing your strength here really hard. I get you've almost catered to this person a lot. You have time and time again been there for them and reminding them and almost mothering them in a way and just saying it's okay, you know, everything's gonna be fine. But this may have been the last straw. All right, so. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay. What is Let Me Go? Okay, these two cards popped out for Aries, actually, in the exact same way. Are you dealing with an Aries? Uh, this also speaks of like tradition and, you know, kind of religious beliefs, okay? Um, so perhaps my left ear is ringing. That has been happening a lot today. What is going on? Is someone talking about me? Like, well, of course people are talking about me. I'm on the internet, so that's probably what's happening. But anyway, maybe this is you, Virgo. But um, sorry, I'm just I'm getting a confusing message here. Okay, I'm just going to go with what I think. Um, this person, I feel like, told you to let them go at some point or maybe tried to, maybe this right here, this whole, like, maybe this whole fantasy situation when they went towards someone else was them trying to force you to let them go. They thought that maybe it would piss you off enough or something. Like, they wanted you to get fed up. I get what I get it was like kind of a dishonest way to um, try and release you in a way. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling very I'm feeling like a little bit of like a buzz in my head. So I feel like I'm on to something here. What else? They're trying to push you away. The Emperor. Because the 
temper. I mean, that's, that's an Aries. Like I said, I think you're dealing with an Aries. Oh my God, that's way too many. Way too many. Okay. I honestly feel like this is like the story of the whole Aries Virgo like thing that happened because the emperor showed up in that one as well. And there was like a little bit of devious shit going on with that. So what else? Let's, thank you. King of Wands. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. They definitely went towards someone else here and they, um, I'm getting fire energy still. This person has Leo on their chart. Um, yeah, they, uh, they played this little scheme for you, um, because they were too chicken to try and let you go themselves. Why is this? Why did they do this? Why did they do this? Six of swords. Because they couldn't do it themselves in reverse. Why couldn't they do it themselves? Because it would break their heart. Shit like this makes me want to throw my cards sometimes. I'm just like, why do people act so stupid? I don't know. Sorry, I just got like really annoyed. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Okay. Sorry, I have a mosquito trying to kill me. Their heart is tainted, okay? There's something going on with their heart here. Um, maybe they have heart problems or something. What's this, what's this heart issue here I'm getting? There's a mosquito literally on my hand. I just want it to, I'm sorry guys, like this might be animal cruelty, but mosquitoes are terrible. I got it. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, like it, like what happened in the Aries reading here, Virgo? Um, I definitely get that there's like a family dynamic. I almost, yeah, I'm getting this person is like afraid of you in a way, not like actual fear, but they are afraid of loving you. Because if they let themselves love you, they're if they let themselves love you, they're going to end up heartbroken. Because they're gonna have to make a tough decision. And if they try and push you away, it's easier for them to do it that way. Because then it's like what a manipulative jerk. Yeah, you feel left out in the cold right now. This is another cycle, it's a karmic cycle. What's ghosted? Um, I just want to say, Virgo, if you have any other signs that you're aware of in your chart, please check out my other videos because this is just one part of your story. Okay. Four of swords in reverse. Okay. This person is going to come back around. Um, they may have ghosted you. You may not have ghosted them. They may have disappeared after doing this bullshit here because they feel like an asshole. Man, this person really needs to grow some balls. What else? Okay, so the hangman in reverse was already um, up. I don't know when that happened, but I'm gonna take it now. Um, they are gaining new perspective on the situation. Um, whatever happened here, they feel like an idiot. They feel like such an idiot. You, you. <laughs> Virgo, you, you done messed up this person, okay? They are really into you and they are scared. They are really scared. What is this over here? This ghost of the hangman, the four of swords. All right, so we have judgment in reverse. What's this? I'm trying to, I think it was like this. Okay. You could also be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with a Libra as well. Yeah, there was definitely a third party situation here. Um, oh man, okay. Um, they're going to give you clarity. 
okay? With the hangman in reverse and the king of swords in reverse. Um, because I'm kind of reading it like, you know, the four of swords in reverse with the judgment upside down there. Clarity is coming in. You will be a little defensive about the situation, and I do not blame you. And they were blocking you. Uh, I don't know if they like actually blocked you, but they definitely were blocking you out of their mind, if that makes sense. They needed to um, kind of think about other things. Um, because wherever they were going in their mind was just not very clear. Yeah, you guys are going to be moving forward past this situation with a chariot upright. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be resolved, but... <clears throat> This could also be some sort of interracial relationship here. Um, and this could also speak of like some sort of vehicle. I don't know if like, maybe you're getting a new car or you just got a new car. What else would the ghost of? What are they gonna say? Yeah, um, they're gonna come back. <clears throat> they're gonna come back in this situation and tell you exactly why it was that they did what they did. And I'm getting an apology. And wow, this person does not want you in their head, like at all. They could also be working very hard right now, and that's kind of what's occupying their mind at the moment. Damn, Virgo. Okay. All right, what's my dreams? They're probably going to be telling you that they're every, you're everything that they've ever wanted because that's, I mean, that's what they think, so whatever. <clears throat> yeah, you're the queen of wands to them. With the ten of cups in reverse, that's interesting. <clears throat> they could be currently dissatisfied in their life. Um, and you are literally their dream. And there you are, Virgo, as the Queen of Wands. Oh my god, I just dumped all my cards in them. Oh, what came out? Let's see. Okay, so we got the uh, Five of Pentacles in reverse, so there's going to be a change to the situation. <clears throat> but you may be a little hesitant because of what you find out from this person. <clears throat> Excuse me. Is that Ten of Pentacles up there? Yeah, I think so. They're going to tell you about how they've been juggling you in another situation, whether that's work or a person, I'm not really sure. And the Ace of Wands, there's definitely a new beginning, a challenge. This could be challenging for you. They might tell you they're up for the challenge. Man. What is this? I'm also getting something about a cat. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you have a couple cats or something. All right, let's get some, uh, yeah, the sun on the bottom of the deck. The two of cups in reverse. Yeah, nine of pentacles. There's some other person that they were, they thought was going to be good or something, but they ended up being disappointed in. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. All right, I'm going to use this one instead for my messages here. Berg. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Yeah, storm warning. It's coming in, guys. It's coming in, Virgo. <laughs> Prepare. You're going to want to sit down for this conversation. Uh, you definitely inspire them, though. And they watch you. They watch your social media, like, all the time. What else? I miss hearing your voice. They miss your voice. Maybe you miss hearing their voice. I don't know. I can be myself with you. This person, man, this person, their head is all over the place. Date, they want to go on a date. They hide their feelings. And then they say things like, I can't do this to themselves. They'd never tell you that because you'd be like, all right, fuck off then. I don't know how to feel. 
they are like I'm getting the person may have never been in love before and they're just not exactly sure how to deal with it what else divine timing yeah you guys could be a divine couple this could be a twin flame thing they're gonna surrender they are they also miss seeing you even though they're probably stalking your social media right now as we speak right <laughs> Anyway, Virgo, that was your reading. A message is coming in, man. I, I don't know, but I hope it, it all goes well for you. And I hope you have a, if you haven't already, please um, subscribe, to my, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a beat because I do these like weekly. Um, okay. And check all your other signs too. Bye.